Let's prepare on the TRB Polytechnic Exam 2017 Civil Engineering Question Paper. Question number 111. An embankment is proposed to construct on 10 meter thick clay deposit having the coefficient of volume compressibility as 2.7 into 10 power minus 4 meter square per kilo newton. Determine the settlement of the clay by the increase in vertical stress. So due to the construction of embankment. So here they have given H value and here volume compressibility that is mv they have given and also they have given the increase in vertical stress so it is del sigma okay so with this we have to find the settlement the equation relating all these things are that is settlement that is del h is equal to h into mv into del sigma so we can directly multiply all these three terms so that you'll get the answer as 162 into 10 power minus 3 meter so here they have given an mm so 162 mm is the answer question number 112 a 600 mm square bearing plate settles by 15 mm in plate load test on a caution less soil under an intensity of loading 0.2 newton per mm square the settlement of a prototype shallow footing 1 meter square under the same intensity of loading is dash so here we know the relation between the plate and the foundation settlement and loading so with respect to that we can do the solution so sf by sp that is the settlement in footing by settlement in plate is equal to bf into bp plus 0.3 the whole square by bp into bf plus 0.3 the whole square so here b is the width of the footing and bp is the width of the plate here so we have all the values except the settlement of the footing so you can substitute directly here and you can find the answer for sf so that will be equal to 20 mm so here 20 mm is not directly given in the answers but they have given between 15 and 25 mm so option b is the right answer question number 113 a wooden pile is being driven with a drop hammer weighing 20 kN and having a free fall of 1 meter the penetration in the last blow is 5 mm the load carrying capacity of the pile as per engineering news formula is dash so this is the engineering news formula qs is equal to w h eta b by f into s plus c so here w is the weight of the hammer and h is the free fall height and eta b is the efficiency so here in the question they have not given anything about the efficiency so we can take it as 100 so eta b will be 1 and f is the factor of safety it is always taken as 6 for this formula and into s plus c so here s is the penetration of pile c is equal to a constant which is 2.54 centimeter for drop hammer so that is given in the question here and if it is a steam hammer means it is 0.254 centimeter so qs is equal to substitute all these values in the formula so you will get the answer as 110 kilonewton so option d is similar or nearer to the answer we have found so option d is the right answer here 114 if a two dimensional velocity potential function is given by phi is equal to 3xy the discharge between the streamlines passing through 2 comma 6 and 6 comma 6 will be dash so here they have given the potential function phi is equal to 3xy so with respect to that we can find the fluid velocity so we can find in two directions u and v okay so u is minus dou phi by dou x and v is minus dou phi by dou y so you can get the derivatives directly that is minus 3y will be for u and minus 3x is for v and next is the stream function which we have to find it out so the discharge q is equal to it is the modulus of stream function 2 minus stream function 1 into the unit width so this is the thing which we want to find out here so now let us find out the stream function values based on the cauchy riemann equation u is equal to the derivative of stream function with respect to y and v is the minus of the derivative of stream function with respect to x so we already know the values of u and v so you can substitute that u and v values here directly okay so with respect to this we can find the stream function 1 and stream function 2 so here 
for the first one that is minus 3 y if you take the integral means it is minus 3 y square by 2 so it is the stream function 2 and if you take for the next one that is 3 x it is 3 x square by 2 so it is the stream function 1 so now we have got the function stream functions as minus 1.5 y square that is 3 by 2 1.5 and the stream function 1 is 1.5 x square so q is equal to modulus of 1.5 x square plus 1.5 y square so now let us find the x square and y square separately so here they have given the two values like coordinates they have given no so with respect to that we have to take the x from both the values so it is 6 square minus 2 square and for y in the both the things it is 6 only so 6 square minus 6 square so it will be 0 and it will be 30 to 4 x square so if you substitute these values in the q formula then you will get the second term will become 0 so 1.5 into 32 will get us 48 units so here option d is the right answer question number 115 an unconfined aquifer of 50 meter thickness has k is equal to 30 meter per day completely penetrates as a well of radius 0.5 meter so here this is the h value and this is k they have given and this is r so the well is pumped so that the water level in the well remains at 40 meter above the bottom so this is the small h value if the pumping has no effect on the water table at r is equal to 500 the steady state discharge would be dash so this r is only actually the capital r we have to take for the formula so now let us see the solution here q is equal to pi k into h square minus h square by log to the base e of r by r so pi and k is equal to 30 and h is actually 50 so it is 2500 h square and the small h is 40 so it is 1600 to the base of log to the base e of 500 by 0.5 meters okay so with respect to that if you calculate you'll get a numerator value and the log base e can be converted into log to the base 10 by 2.303 into log base 10 of 1000 so log 1000 is actually 3 log 100 is 2 log 10 is 1 and log 1 is 0 so these are the basic values you should be known of so with respect to log 1000 it is 3 so if you multiply that you'll get the answer as 1 to 270 meter cube per day but in the question they have given the answers in liters per second so we have to convert into liters and divided by 24 hours into 60 minutes into 60 seconds so you'll get the answer is 142.12 liters per second so here option b is the right answer Question number 116, the slope deflection equation at B of member BC for the frame shown in the figure is dash, EI is equal to constant. So here the BC length is not given but actually from the figure you can take it as 4 meters. Okay, they have missed it actually here. So the 4 meter length is the BC member's length and it is a fixed beam with UDL all over it. So let us solve it now. So the slope deflection equation is MBC is equal to MFBC plus 2 EI by L into 2 theta B plus theta C minus 3 del by L. So in the question they have not given anything about the deflection value. Normally they will give it as 2 mm or 3 mm like that. Here they have not given anything so we can take that it as 0. So remaining terms alone we can see now. So first is the fixed moment. Fixed moment for the fixed beam of udl carrying all over it is minus w l square by 12 so it is at the left end no so it is minus so from that we can find the m f b c and the next term is 2 e i by l so l is 4 here e i let us keep it as constant itself so 2 theta b plus theta c so here the member is b c means the 2 has to be come near the theta b Okay, if it is CB, the member is CB means it is 2 theta C plus theta B. Okay, so always the first letter that is the member's left end will be having the more coefficient near to the slope. Okay, so keep this in mind also. So from this we can find the answer minus 40 plus it is 4 EI theta B by 4. So it is EI theta B plus 0.5 theta C EI. Okay, so this is the answer. Here option c is the right answer so without doing all these solutions from this options we can directly find the answer also so that only i have told that the coefficient near the 
theta b has to be greater for this question because it is a b c number so if you take option a and c it doesn't have theta c itself so you can neglect that two options so if you take the b and c options means here, here near theta b it should have a greater value and theta c the lesser value so in option c only it is like that that is 1 and 0.5 so we can directly go for option c question number 117 the distribution factors for members a e and a c of the box section or dash so the dimension you have to take from this diagram that is the length of ae member is 2.5 and ac is 5 meter and uh, the i is given for ae and 2i is the flexibility for ac okay so keep this in mind so here first k1 that is the stiffness k1 is i by 2.5 and k2 is 2i by 5 okay so for similar or simpler calculation we can convert this i by 2.5 into 2i by 5 so that the denominator will be same for both so calculation it will be easy okay so the next is the distribution factor so the distribution factor is nothing but it is k1 by the summation of all the k's so here the k1 is 2i by 5 and the summation of both the k's is 4i by 5 Okay, so i by five is common here, so we can neglect that. So two by five alone, two by four alone, we can take it. So it is point five. Similarly, for the member A C also, it is point five. So here, when you are finding K one and K two itself, you can find the answer for this question because it is given as two i by five for both. So it means that the distribution factor for both the members are same. in the four options only one option is having both distribution factors same so you can directly go for that without finding the distribution factor itself so here option a is the right answer question 118 which of the following statements in terms of compound composition of cement are incorrect so if we are reading all these four option means the first three are very correct and option d is alone the incorrect here So here in the option A, C three S and C two S consist together to give seventy to eighty percentage they have given, and yes, it is C three S is forty five percentage and C two S is twenty five percentage. So it is nearly seventy percentage here. And option B, C two S hydrates slowly. So this is the later strength providing factor. So it has a let less heat of hydration and it is responsible for the ultimate strength. and c3 s is it is having a early strength and more heat of hydration is evolved here nearly 120 calories per gram will be evolved here so the option d c3 s provides more resistance to chemical attack actually this is the wrong that is the incorrect statement here so here option d is the right answer question 119 a rectangular beam has b is equal to 250 mm D is equal to five hundred mm. AST is three numbers of twenty mm bars. FCK is equal to twenty newton per mm square, and FE four one five steel are used. So the limit moment capacity of the beam is dash. So normally the limit moment capacity is calculated by three different methods. So one is with the FCK value that is point three six FCK B X Q max into D minus point four two X Q max. And the another one is with AST. It is point eight seven FY AST into D minus point four two XU max. Based on the FE four one five steel itself, there is a formula for MU limit capacity. So we can directly do that also. Actually, this is the last method which I have told. I have tried the other two methods also, but the answer is not uh, very accurately coming here. And in this method also, if you see means. For FE four one five, it is point one three eight FC K B D square. So you can know the answer for FE two fifty and five hundred also from this table. So if we substitute all the values for FC K twenty and B is two fifty and D is five hundred, means the answer is one point seven into ten power eight newton mm. So in the option, the answer nearer to one point seven is actually one point four. So we can go for that option. So option C is the right answer. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 120 फॉर अ कंटिन्यूअस स्लैब ऑफ 3 मीटर क्रॉस 3.5 मीटर साइज द मिनिमम ओवरऑल डेप्थ ऑफ स्लैब टू सेटिस्फाई द वर्टिकल डिफ्लेक्शन लिमिट इज डैश सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू चेक वेदर इट इज अ वन वे स्लैब और टू वे स्लैब सो हियर एल वाई बाई एल एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट फाइव बाई थ्री विच इज एक्चुअली लेसर दैन टू सो इट इज अ टू वे स्लैब हियर सो द स्पैन बाई डेप्थ फॉर दिस टू वे स्लैब इज फोर्टी फॉर कंटिन्यूअस एंड थर्टी फाइव फॉर सिंपली सपोर्टेड सो हियर इन द क्वेश्चन दे हैव आस्ट फॉर अ कंटिन्यूअस बीन सो इट इज थ्री थाउजेंड बाई फोर्टी विच इज इक्वल टू सेवेंटी फाइव एम एम सो दिस इज द आंसर सो ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर हियर थैंक यू एंड कीप वॉचिंग फॉर द कंटिन्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन पेपर डिस्कशन